Hey everyone, it's been quite some time since I did a, a YouTube video and I just wanted to reiterate something which I posted today and that's basically with regards to um, carbohydrate. I have been receiving a substantial amount of direct messages from people I know and don't know with regards to the consumption of carbohydrates amongst the professional ranks. So let me once again put it to you the following way. We all know that coffee or caffeine in coffee, when we drink lots of coffee, we, we become desensitized to it. And what we find is that we need more cups in order to achieve that same sort of effect that we originally had from that first cup of coffee. Now, I'm not saying that um, carbohydrates works the same way as caffeine does, but in, what I am saying is the more carbohydrate that you are consuming results in the fact that you will need more of it in order to get the same effect that you originally had. So we aren't supposed to eat or consume the vast amounts of carbs which, is, which has been basically impl implemented since uh, 1977 onwards um, since a bogus uh, nutritional guideline was implemented and then of course the endurance and sports world have adopted this um, this macronutrient as being the superfood of macronutrients so in short what is actually taking place within these pros they are becoming more tolerant to carbohydrate and what they are thinking is because they are consuming so much more of it they are performing at a far superior level or they're performing at a level which they are satisfied with um, there has even been footage uh, that i have seen of a pro actually proclaiming that he consumed i think almost 150 grams of carbs per hour in the last hour or during this this race that he was doing uh, and he, there was very much a glorification of um, the amount that he was taking in. 30 years ago, when I was uh, introduced to cycling and wanting to, to, to race, the prescribed amount of carbs that was back then was 30 to maybe 60 grams per hour. Now, a lot of people will also say, but hang on, these pros are now right riding at greater speeds um, and maybe sustaining the same um, watts per kilo as um, as the, the you know or, or greater than the, the their predecessors. But the greatest speed and the faster times up some of these climbs are also achieved by cycling tech. And if we completely over, overlook what the, the advancements have been made in cycling tech, um, or if we take into account those, those uh, advancements in, in cycling tech, you will see that maybe the gains aren't that profound or maybe not even there in, in, in the way that is being perceived. So, the way I see it is the following. It's not the carbohydrate that is making them go faster or helping them to sustain their power output, but it's actually them being dependent on a greater amount of carbohydrate in order to maintain that power output. And of course, hopefully that relates uh, you know the byproduct of that is, is is greater speed and being faster so it's not the carbs that are making the faster it's their dependency has become greater which begs me to the question are we are we starting to see basically now a more of a demand for more um, saddle bags and handlebar bags more pockets in our in our jerseys um, because bear in mind that these these pros are supported by team cars and their domestiques and um, their 
uh, uh, soigneurs on the side of the road with their musettes. In, in reality, we are becoming, we, we are consuming far more than what we are trying to achieve, which is greater independence to, to actually focus on the ride and enjoy the ride instead of having to worry about your, your nutritional plan and your buzzers and your alarms going off to, to, um, to tell you when to eat. So I actually, in fact, I strongly feel that we are going in the wrong direction. And that is becoming more dependent and it's it's unrealistic it's absolutely unrealistic to start to having to consume buy more energy in order to do something in which you want to enjoy and and, and love it, and also the glorification of carbohydrates is terrible it's absolutely terrible high carbohydrates is absolutely detrimental now I'm not anti carbohydrate I'm anti high carbohydrate Carbs is a fine as long as you take it in minimal amounts and only when necessary. So on that note, you know, thanks for, uh, you know, watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, if you feel that it's actually of benefit to somebody else, please share it and uh, have a good one. Bye.